Hi, I'm Steve Ledden with Optics Planet, and I'll be leaving in two days for Prince of Wales Island in Alaska, uh, going to a bear hunt and a Sitka uh, black-tailed deer hunt. We've seen before how I cut the foam out of Pelican and Storm cases to position your firearms and your equipment. I usually do that for western hunts. We've also seen previously how I insert an OpMod double gun case in the case without the foam and I simply remove that double gun case when I get to my destination. That's very convenient. For this hunt, I'm having a space and a weight issue and how I'm mitigating those two aspects of the hunt is by the way I positioned my equipment in this Storm 3300 case. This time I have absolutely no foam in the case at all. And I'm able to save a lot of room in my rolling duffel by trying to squeeze as much as I can into this case. The first real space saver is my sleeping bag and my pillow and my mat. I. Uh, I really saved a lot of room by fitting those in here. Here's a water filter. I'm using our, I'll be using our 10 by 42 new OpMod binoculars. We're all very proud of the new OpMod binoculars here. Uh, waterproof, durable, made to our specifications. They're brand new. I'm very, very proud of them. I, I hope you check out the new OpMod binoculars. They're 842 and 1042 power and I'm really gonna give them a run for their money. I'm gonna proof test these suckers out there and hopefully they will be as perfect as I hope they are. Hope they are. Uh, Otis cleaning kit, the Otis cleaning kits have a variety of fluids, patches, brushes that will take care of all your firearm maintenance needs. Uh, there's your cleaning rod, it's actually a wire rope fits in a convenient case and they're really superb kits. Uh, sometimes alcohol and firearms mix a little bit because I'm using my Crown Royal bag to protect my old uh, Model 58 here, my old Smith & Wesson 58. I'll be using some Corbon hunting loads, 180 grain hard cast with this gun. I'm bringing our OpMod PVS-14 night vision monocular that will, here's a couple of extra kinds of cleaning fluid that I like to bring with me. This is our new OpMod case. This is a prototype. This is a hybrid case I really like. They should be here available for sale in just a handful of weeks. What's nice about this case, it's called a hybrid case. It actually has a hard plastic insert in the case so it's kind of a hard case and a soft case. The reason I needed this is because I'm not going to take all this gear with me when I get into the boat and when we're cruising the shorelines I'm simply going to take this case all by itself with minimal gear in it and uh, I'm just going to take that and go. This case also floats. Extra magazine. Uh, this is my Surefire 6PX flashlight. I always like to have a flashlight in my gun cases. I have flashlights everywhere and I misplace things sometimes so I like to have extras. This is my Gerber multi-tool. It's one of the finest tools on the market. Uh, it uh, also comes with a variety of different bits to fix firearms or other gear when you're camping out. Uh, SOG saw. This is what I'll remove animal parts with. And you could use it for cleaning, clearing shooting lanes. If you're familiar with uh, whitetail tree stand hunting. The gun I'm bringing for this trip is the Remington R25 in 308. I'm using this, I put a whole grip on it. I, I like whole grips a lot better than the standard A2 style grips. We have our OpMod MPO2, which consists of the holographic weapon sight, which this one is the tan 
EOTech EXPS3 with the G23 flip to side magnifier. This is a night vision capable unit that I could easily remove this and put on my night vision monocular if I need to. Uh, good guns, took it out to range uh, Saturday. I'm shooting 180 grain Federal Premium Nosler partitions. It's given me groups of about an inch and a half, which is about as well as I could shoot this gun with only three power at 100 yards. It should be more than, more than enough to do what I need to do on this hunt. So I have also my Leupold RX1000 rangefinder, my Bushnell Backtrack, which is a very inexpensive but eminently useful product to bring with you. It will give you three different waypoints, but most importantly, it will tell you which direction to get back to your, uh, your waypoint. For instance, if you're dropped off by a boat, and you have to go up to this hill and you lose your bearings, you can always hit the backtrack and it'll get you back to where you landed. I'm also going to use an M6X Lite by Insight Technology. You could see that this free floated rail on this Remington does not have uh, the option of side rails to put equipment on. So in this case, I'm using one of the Weaver angled mounts and I can easily install this mount on the side of my gas block and all I have to do is just turn it on. So now I have a weapon light that's easily installed and easily removed. I wanted to share with you how I'm using a hard case for this particular hunt so now that makes three really completely different ways we're able to use these hard cases and there's no set rules. You don't have to do what anyone says. You can do what you think is best for the dilemmas you have to solve. This is the equipment I'm bringing. I'm, I'm happy with the quality of all this equipment. And when I get back in a couple of weeks, I'll let you know how it went. I'm Steve Len with Optics Planet. Thanks for watching.